hey, Louis Cannon, my favorite super agent, man. How you doing? No, I just wanted to call and say thank you for delivering the Benny Hill auction artifacts. Oh, there was some amazing shit in that, man. Hey, did you get the Cosby recordings from CBS? Beautiful! Go ahead and start transcribing those. We'll work them into the act this weekend. <laughs> what? Oh, you got the... You did. You got the rights to Carlin! You got all the rights to George Carlin? Yeah! This was his downfall. All comedians steal. I used to go find acts in the sticks and just buy up the whole gag and do it myself. But Dane Cook took it too far. <laughs> he thought that once he said something, his audience was too stupid to know that he didn't write it himself. For a long time, he was right. You know, I've been thinking about the swear words, curse words, all these words you're not supposed to say all the time. So I'm on television now. I'm hosting a lot of things like the G4 Awards, uh, People's Choice Awards, Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, Big Money Kids! Can't fuck that up. So I made a list of things you can't say on television. Now you can say bitch, you can say bastard, you can say hell, you can say damn. Anything in the Bible, you can go ahead and say hallelujah! The list of words you can't say on television, like my penis, is quite small. <laughs> penis. It's only seven words. There's only seven things you can't say on television. Shit! Piss! Cunt! Fuck! Cocksucker! Motherfucker! And tits! These are the words that will curb your spine! Put hair on your hands! And God help us bring us peace without honor! So great was the hubris of Dane Cook that he re-recorded and released the entirety of George Collins' third album as his own material in 2011. 